So, you're playing with an app on your phone. Did you know that that works only because there are lines and lines of computer code behind making everything come together? Every computer, every tablet, and every phone works because of code. And every living thing on this planet has its own code. That code is called our DNA, and that makes up part of what we call our genes. Not those genes. We're talking about what is within each and every one of us that makes us who we are. I'm Tembi Fashino. I'm a geneticist, which means that I study genes every day. You and I are made up of tiny cells that are really hard to see, but make up our body. And in each of those cells, we have genes that contain all the information to make us who we are. So your genes are why you look like you. They can make you really tall or short. They can make you have curly hair or straight hair. But genes code for even much more than that. Humans have about 25,000 genes altogether. That's a lot. And each of these genes makes something different. But more interestingly, sometimes they come together and make a completely new effect. So it's a little bit like mixing paint. Yellow on its own just looks like yellow, while blue on its own also just looks like blue. But when you mix them together, you get something completely different. For example, scientists have found a version of a gene that makes our earwax sticky or dry. <laughs> Ew. But what's also really cool is that the same version of the gene that makes your earwax sticky also makes people have smelly armpits. Genes are passed down from parent to child. So more than likely, if you have brown eyes, it's because one of your parents or both have brown eyes. And that's because genes are inherited. But it gets even crazier than that. Every living thing has genes, from plants to trees, cats, dogs, even the fruit you eat has genes. So if your genes were a little bit different, you could end up looking like a tomato. <laughs> it's a really complicated thing, and scientists are working out exactly how genes combine to create the results that they do. But genes don't always code for good things. Sometimes people can inherit versions of genes from their parents that make them really sick, and that can of course affect your life. But it's not all bad news. Just as scientists are figuring out how genes cause these diseases, we're also using genes to figure out how to cure them. Yay! Once you understand genes, you understand a key component of life. Let's look around the world. People from Japan often look very different from people from Sweden or from Nigeria, like me. And this is because these traits are often passed down multiple generations over a very long period of time. In Ireland, we have a very high number of red-haired people. In fact, one in every 10 people you meet will have red hair. And that's because that trait has also passed down multiple generations over a long time. Sometimes, our genetic code can change, and that is called a mutation. Mutations cause genes to behave differently and an example is in Ireland, there's a mutation that causes a condition called pituitary gigantism. People with this condition can grow really large, sometimes up to eight feet tall. But unfortunately, some of them can also have health problems. So you get the point. Genes are very important. They can help us cure diseases and they can even make people into giants. Every single person on this planet shares 99.6% of our genetic code. You, everyone you know, and everyone you will ever meet are all part of one big human family. Isn't that just amazing? So next time you're meeting up with those friends and your family, think about it when you're putting on your jeans. <laughs>